Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Um, today we're showing off one of our new kits. Uh, it's a relay driver, so you can activate AC power using uh, using signals from your Arduino or PIC or TTL gate. You don't have to use our kit to do this because what we'll do is we'll show you how to make it yourself. But we do sell printed circuit boards and uh, full-on kits. So this is for instructables.com. So we'll show a demonstration, but first of all I'm going to show you how to put this kit together. The kit comes with 11 pieces. Our printed circuit board, two 1N4001 diodes, a 2N222 two NPN transistor, a red LED, a 5 volt relay, two 3-pin terminal blocks, and three resistors. So what we need to know here is that uh, when we place the diodes in, we can't place them in backwards, we'll get to that. Uh, no capacitors, so we don't have to worry about polarization. The relay only fits in one way, and we'll talk about the LED in just one second. But first of all, let's do some soldering. Let's solder in our terminal blocks. Okay, so the terminal blocks are in. There's two three-pin terminal blocks. Uh, make sure that the screw terminals are facing outwards. You don't want them facing the opposite way. So now what we can do is we can we can loosen the screw panels on top to make the gaps open up on these terminal blocks so we can fit wires in there and we'll do that in the end uh, this side is uh, for our power supply and our signal input and this side is for our relay terminals so again we'll get to that next we're going to solder in our relay now the relay it's really it fits in only one way there's really no way to go wrong here three pins on one side two pins on the other it only fits in one one way so what i'll do is i'll solder that in and then we'll talk about the passive components because that's all that's left are passive components once we're done the relay with the relay okay so now we've soldered in our relay five pins Five thing, nice solder joints right there. The traces from the contacts of the relay to our uh, our terminal block are very thick, so we can support between one and 1.5 amps of current at 120 volts AC. So now let's talk about the passive components. We have three resistors, two diodes, an NPN transistor, and an LED. So first of all, let's work with the uh, the two diodes. When you look at a diode, you might not be able to see from there, but on one side there is a white line, and that uh, is the an the uh, cathode, and that's negative. The side without the white line here is the anode, and that's the positive. So if you actually look on our layout, the first diode has a little white indicator on the right side, which indicates the cathode. So we want to match up the white side of the diode with the white side of our, L our uh, diode footprint. So what I'll do is I'll solder that one in and as well there's a diode hidden right behind the relay here D1 and again there on the left side here on the far side there is a white indicator uh, that will tell you which side is the anode and which side is the cathode. So I'll solder those in and we'll talk about the transistor. Okay so we've soldered our two diodes. Our cathodes uh, the white side of the LED is facing the left hand side of the board uh, and our anode which is the positive is facing the right side of the board again there is a white indicator in the footprint on the PCB so you really can't go wrong but you have to pay close attention to make sure that you match the footprint up to the diode so we've soldered our two diodes next we're going to talk about our NPN transistor now an NPN transistor uh, such as the 2N 2222 uh, has three pins, a collector, an emitter, and a base. The base is the middle pin. We'll talk about this more in the schematic, but the footprint, as you can see right here, has a flat edge. Now, the flat edge matches a flat, the flat edge on the actual 2N222, so you just have to get a bird's eye view of, uh, of the 2N222, and, uh, and you, it literally fit right in. So you just have to follow the top of the transistor and uh, you'll notice that you probably can't see from here but you'll see when I'm done putting the components in that there's a round side and there's a flat side of the transistor. The flat side uh, should match the flat side on the footprint and the curved side should match the curved side of the footprint. And now let me quickly you can put it see in. that the flat side of the transistor is facing the far side of the board and the curved side of the transistor is facing uh, this side of the board. 
So now we're just down to four components. We've got one LED and three resistors. Now let's get the LED out of the way because if you don't if you don't know much about kits, the uh, the LED can be a little bit confusing. Uh, the LED is a diode as well, but there is no uh, line indicator as to which side is the negative side. However, there's two other indicators. The negative side on a diode is, has the shorter pin. Uh, the longer side has the longer or the positive side has the longer pin. The, the longer pin is the anode, which is positive, and the, the smaller pin is the cathode, which is negative. Now, you're not going to be able to see this on video, but as well, the, the side that the negative pin is connected to actually has a little flat ridge on the side. You're not going to be able to see that, but that actually matches up with our uh, PCB right here. Now, our LED, a red LED indicator, is right here. And the, the, on, on the footprint, there's a flat ridge on the red LED side. So on the, the on this side, there's a flat ridge, but it's hard to see. So we want to put our negative lead in the left here, closest to the terminal block, and our positive lead on the right-hand side, closer to the relay. Okay, so now we've just got three resistors left. We've got our 470-ohm resistor, well-labeled on the footprint, right here. We've got our 10K-ohm resistor right here, labeled on the board, and we've got our 100K resistor right here. So if you don't know how to if you don't know how to read a resistor code, I suggest pulling out your multimeter and uh, and making sure that you're putting the right resistors in the right places, or else the circuit will not work properly. So, uh, but but if you if uh, if if you don't have a multimeter, then I do suggest reading up on uh, resistor color code. Now you don't have to worry about polarity. You can place a resistor in either way, and it's not going to affect the circuit. So, uh, what I'll do is I will solder in the 470 ohm resistor the 100k resistor and the 10k resistor and then we'll, t we'll, uh, we'll, we'll turn it on and see if it works. Okay, so now we're fully assembled so now all we have to do is uh, test it. So I put 5 volts on this pin, it's labeled 5 volts, the leftmost pin DC ground on the right and our middle pin is our signal pin. So as soon as we put 5 volts on that signal pin or a uh, signal from our Arduino or something like that, the, L the relay will turn on. You'll hear it with a click and you'll see that LED turn on. So let me just... So now, great, it works. Easy kit to put together. Now we'll talk about the schematic and I'll do a real demonstration showing a, a circuit controlling this relay, controlling some AC circuitry. Here's the schematic. Uh, we've got our two terminal blocks right here. That's our power terminal block and this is our relay terminal block. So let's start with the power terminal block. We've got our ground pin connected to common ground. We've got our 5 volt pin that's con connected to our common VCC. VCC stands for a power supply. In this case it's 5 volts. Uh, our signal pin is connected to the anode of a uh, 1N4004 uh, or 1N4001 diode. Uh, this is a protection circuit. It's actually not necessary if you want to. Uh, if you want to, you don't necessarily need this diode. Your circuit will work just as well without it. Uh, but so your the cathode of your diode is connected to a 10K pr uh, protective resistor that's connected to the base of your transistor. So when power is applied to the base of your transistor, the transistor will activate. We'll get there in just one second. We've got a 100, 100K bleeder resistor, so that will just bleed off uh, any any extra power after you, your, your signal has been turned off. This is not necessary either. It's not 100% necessary. If you decide to keep this component out, it, uh, it will work just as well. It's just kind of a protective circuit to uh, bleed off any leftover power at the base of the transistor. So anyway, as soon as we have a positive signal here, a 5 volt signal along this line, we'll have power at the base of our transistor. So again, when you, with an NPN transistor, when you have a positive signal uh, at the base of your transistor, whatever is at the collector will sync all the way through the transistor to the emitter. In this case, our emitter is connected to ground. So it acts to turn on our relay. Now here's our relay. Relay has five. A five volt relay has one pin. There are five pins. Two pins are, are coil pins, and three pins are isolated pins that can control AC. There's a common pin that's normally connected to this pin NC. So CO is common, normally connected to NC, normally connected. And this, when when power is applied to the relay, uh, the common pin will switch over and connect to the normally open NO contact. But anyway, we'll get to that in a second. 
So our relay coil, we've got we've got five volts connected to pin one of our relay coil, and pin two is connected to our the collector of our trans transistor. So when power is applied to the transistor, the five volts travels through the relay coil, through the transistor, and to ground becomes a, com a completed circuit. So what happens is, is as soon as you apply power to that coil, it creates a magnetic field that causes the relay, the isolated relay pins, to switch from common to normally open. And that's how our switching action. It's actually a completely isolated circuit. So, uh, but what happens is, is when power is is taken away from the base and the power to the coil is disconnected, there is a magnetic field along this coil that collapses and causes a huge voltage spike. That's where this diode comes in. It shunts out uh, voltage spikes and protects your uh, your Arduino or your MCU or your gating system. It's a protective circuit. And it's very, very important that you place this diode properly. Um, as well, we've got our LED indicator circuit. So we've got a 470 ohm K or 470 ohm resistor connected to 5 volts, uh, connected to the positive anode of our LED. The negative uh, pin of our LED, the cathode, is connected to the base of the transistor. So again, when power is applied to the base of this transistor, our power our power supply will travel through this current limiting resistor, through the LED, through the transistor to ground, completing the circuit. So this is the control. As soon as power is applied here, power goes through these two circuits and through to ground completing the circuit. So that's what activates your, your relay. So again, this, this, these pins right here, they're all isolated. They're all located within the, tra within the relay. But this is a high, these are uh, high power switches. And the, the, tra the traces on the PCB are very thick, so that they can, tr can control AC circuitry up to about 1 to 1 1.5 amps at 120 volts AC. So now that we're done talking about that, we're going to do a quick demonstration in, uh, with, with AC, and that's it. So thanks to all of you who've uh, followed through with me so far. Uh, so right here I've got a slot sensor kit, a t slot sensor toggler, that will provide a signal once breached to our relay board. Uh, our relay board, what I've done is I've taken a dollar store extension cord, cut the black hot wire. Now be very careful when you do that. Um, I've cut it in half, placed one of the, 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 uh, one of the sides of the black wire into our normally open or NO pins of our relay, and I've placed the other in our CO, which is common pin of our relay. And so what happens is as soon as the relay is act activated, it will connect the, co the common pin to the normally open pin, reconnecting the black wire and applying power to our power board, power board, board here. I've got the, the extension cord uh, plugged into our AC source, and I've got this lamp right here plugged into our power bar. So as soon as we reconnect that black wire, power will be applied to our lamp. So what I've got here is a quarter, and... Uh, I'll breach our slot sensor, and once I breach the slot sensor, it'll send a toggled signal from zero to high to our relay board. Light turns on. It works. Turns off. This is actually going to be a kit, too. So that's it. Controlling AC using a 5-volt source with the www.engineeringshock.com relay board. So I hope you Instructables community have found this uh, entertaining. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing it, you can look at, at our e, through our eBay store at www.electroniclessons.com or you can find it at engineeringshock.com. So thanks, I hope you enjoyed this instructable.